Hello YouTube! So I'm uh, just posting this video for any of you who might be uh, curious as to whether the gasket maker, either uh, red or orange Permatex gasket maker is compatible with gasoline and uh, I conducted a test yesterday. So this is the leftover of what I did. I'm actually just conducting a test and uh, making a seal, uh, making some components um, to carry a little bit of gas to my motorcycle. And uh, I decided I'd put a little blob of silicone into a jar of gasoline. And what I did is I put some gas and uh, some sea foam, which is what I intend to run through my motorcycle. And I put that um, on my components, but I also put a small blob in a jar with a little bit of gas in the bottom. And this is the result. So as you can see, this, this blob of silicone was probably a quarter of the size of what you're seeing now. I dropped it on the floor so it's dirty now. But this was about a quarter of its actual size that you see right now. And it seems to have really soaked up a lot of the gas. It's not, it's not deteriorated or anything like that. It just seems to soak up the gas. So uh, the question or the answer to the question, is it compatible or not? I would say no, it's not compatible because you'll probably fail over time. This was done about two, uh, 24 hours ago. So this is, the, um, this is the leftover of my gasket maker. And this is a small test blob that I dropped in gasoline. And there's a huge difference in texture. Like this is hardened to the point where it'd be a good seal around a, like a crankcase cover or something. And this that has been sitting in gas over 24 hours is really soft and gluey and almost like slime. And you can tell that it'll rip apart pretty easily. So that's your answer. Don't mix it. Permatex does make a product. Uh, apparently it's a black gasket maker that you can use with gasoline, but not this stuff. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.